Happy New Year and Happy New Beginnings. We're super excited to get the ball rolling and to share with you how we plan to do our very first ever January No Spend Challenge. If everything goes as planned, we should be able to save about $700 this month. We've been wanting to do this for quite some time now, but I kept overthinking everything. I wanted to have the perfect plan. I wanted to have the perfect idea on how to track our spending, how to track our savings. Um, and I, there's just so many different ways to do a no spend challenge. I just, I got overwhelmed and I just put it aside. So now we're really excited to give it a shot this month. You may or may not have heard of a no spend challenge before, and there are so many different ways to do this. Let me first start out by saying that a no spend challenge doesn't mean that you're not gonna pay your bills and it doesn't mean that you're not gonna buy groceries. So what does that mean for us? Basically, it's cutting out any extras and you can go about that many different ways. Prior to starting, we did not buy you know, everything under the sun that we could ever possibly want for the month of January. So we didn't stock up on things. We didn't overstock our pantry. We just are going with what we have right now and then we're gonna work our way through. We won't be taking any food that we have stored for prepping. And last month, we didn't go out and buy a bunch of gift cards so that we could use them all month. In addition, we're not planning on overspending in February to get everything that we put aside for this month. That would just negate any progress that we made. First, we had to come to an agreement on what we would and wouldn't spend money on this month. The second thing is that we had to agree on a goal that we wanted to use the money for, which is going to be a new pool liner. So what will our first no spend challenge look like? The first thing is bills. Yes, we do plan on paying all of our bills, you know, truck, insurance, electric, whatever. The second thing we'll be spending money on is groceries. We've allotted $113 a week to spend for the two of us. This isn't just an arbitrary number. And later in the video, I'll share with you how we came up with that amount. With that $113, we won't be buying any extras from the grocery store like chips or cookies, treats, you know, that sort of thing. And we'll also be trying to use up the food that we already have in our refrigerator and our freezer. The third thing we'll be spending money on is gasoline, and we've allotted $30 a week for that. Again, this is not an arbitrary number, and I'll share later in the video on how we came up with that amount. And when we're at the gas station, we're not gonna be buying any extras like coffee to go or donuts or other fast food. To make it super easy to follow, we only have two envelopes to keep track of. One is for gasoline and one is for groceries. And every Sunday, we add $30 to the gasoline envelope and $113 to the grocery envelope. If we have money left over from the week before, we just roll it over with the new money so we have it available if we need it. At the end of the month, if we have any money that we haven't used, we'll add it to the total savings amount. For us, food and gasoline are the only things that we have control over how much we spend because we've budgeted zero dollars for anything else except bills and medical emergencies. Although last week, Brad did call our internet and cell phone service, and he was able to lower our cell phones by $40 a month and our internet by $40 a month. I'll add a link for his video in the description below. The fourth thing that we're going to be focusing on is entertainment, but we've allotted zero dollars for entertainment for this month. We'll be finding other things to do for free. We can go for a walk in the woods, we can do some reading, we can even focus on doing some cleaning, decluttering, and organizing this month. The fifth thing is restaurants, and we have basically allotted zero dollars for going out to eat this month. That doesn't mean that you can't be flexible with this category. Before we knew that we were going to be doing the challenge this month, we had already made plans for New Year's Day to go out to eat at our niece's restaurant. So instead of canceling that reservation or putting off the challenge for another month, we use money that I received as a Christmas bonus from my boss. The sixth thing I wanna address is medical needs. If we need to go to the doctor or the dentist during this month, we're just gonna go. We're not gonna count that against our savings for this month because it's something that we need to do to stay healthy. I'll show you a little calendar that I made for the month. We're just gonna cross off each day when we're successful. If we're not successful and we had a hiccup along the way, we're just gonna write in what happened during that day. I also wrote on there a reminder of what we are spending money on and what we aren't spending money on this month. There's a few things that we want to keep in mind as we go through this month. And the first thing is grace. If we mess up one day, that's okay. We're not going to go out and throw in the towel and binge shop or something like that. It's all right. We're going to remind ourselves 
that it's just one day and we're going to move on. Grace also means that if you have a friend give you a call and they're having a hard time and they need to go out for coffee with you, just go out to coffee. Another thing I want to address is gift cards. We're allowing ourselves to use any gift cards that were given to us by other people. And again, last month we didn't go out and buy a bunch of gift cards to stock up on so that we could use all month long. That doesn't mean that we're going to use them this month, but again, we have them there if we want to. The other thing I want to address is bin shopping. So when February rolls around, we're not going to just do a bunch of bin shopping on everything that we weren't able to get this month and just buy it all next month. We're not going to do that. We'll be intentional with our purchases and if we need to buy something to start a new project, that's fine. We, if we need to change something out in the house, that's fine too. We're just going to be very, very intentional. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, now I'll go through how we came up with the amounts for groceries and for gasoline. We live in the United States and we looked at what the USDA food plan allocates for two adults on the thrifty plan. And we use numbers from November 2022 and that comes out to just about $113 a week. We haven't been on a food budget since our kids were teenagers. We allotted $30 a week for gasoline and how we came up with that number. We looked at where we typically travel each week found the round trip mileage for each place, multiplied that by the number of times we went to each place per week, and then we added those totals together, and we came up with 150 miles a week to travel for family, church, work, and errands. So for example, it's three and a half miles for me to get to work, so each time it's seven miles round trip. I work four days a week, so that equals 28 miles a week for work. And then we added up all the mileage for going to work, church, visiting family, going to the grocery store, running errands, and like I said, that equaled out to 150 miles a week. Then I multiplied that 150 miles a week by the, the price of gasoline per gallon and divided that by the number of miles we get on our truck per gallon, and we came up with $30 for the week. So that's it. That's how we plan to do our no-spend month. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really excited to see how this month goes, and I hope that you found some encouragement to try a no-spend challenge yourself. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.